The print setup command can be accessed through the application menu. Once we hit print, or directly here. Now we've talked about this being the area where we go to select our presets. We haven't talked about how to actually set them up, so we're going to do that right now. So depending on my title block layout, I will want to adjust my different settings. If I want to zoom to 50% or keep it at 100, really the first thing that you want to look at is your paper size. And so I need to select that. If I leave this at 50% down here, then it's going to scale my sheet by half, which is not what I want. So I'm going to take that back up to 100%. Also, if I were to fit the page, it would slightly scale it based off of sheet size. Now, if I were to specify the, the placement, Offset from corner is going to base it from the lower left right here or depending on your title block where the origin is set up. Center is going to center that. Now if you have views that are placed outside of your sheet, this can throw your sheet offset and when it prints it will end up being partially off the page because it centers it so watch out for that. Also the orientation can be adjusted here as well. Vector processing. Basically this is going to send everything as if it were mathematical points versus pixels or a raster. Obviously that one's going to be a lot faster and by default sometimes it switches over to raster if you have shadows and gradients and things that are in your view. So for just floor plans, elevations, you know, plain black and white, that's probably the recommended setting to do. If you are printing in raster, then you can adjust your quality down here. As well as colors right here. So as you can see when I print, if I have it set to black lines, if I have color associated to my line work, then it's going to automatically um, turn them back to black by default. Also, I can choose grayscale or color. Look at these options down here and make sure that you have the adequate ones turned on and turned off. Now, once we're set up with that, what we would want to do is go ahead, click Save As to make a new preset. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that and say OK. Now you can see that I've added that to my presets.